Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. And so we're having another share here in the basement. Thus, we're back in the corner like last time. Uh, again, got the mic up close, hoping to get a good sound for you testing, guys. Testing one, two. <laughs> uh, this one's courtesy of Nathan. This one Thanks, is Nathan. uh this is a beer out of Canada. It's a, a Porter Baltique, a Grand Cuvée Edition Special, aged in bourbon and brandy barrels. This is a 2016 edition from uh, Le Trois Musketeers. I don't know if you said that right. I don't speak French. Uh, Three Musketeers Brewery uh, out of Quebec. Um, so this one, uh, not much more to say. I don't think um, it's a. It's like an imperial porter, aged in bourbon and brandy barrels, ten and a half percent ABV. Um, Baltic porter, isn't it? Baltic porter. I'm sorry. Yeah, Baltic porter. Um, so let's get into it. All right, let's do it. Pours just a real dark brown. Yeah, it looks like a porter. Yeah, uh, holds the glass, but not much head to speak of. Let's get the aroma. All right. I get some barrel quality. I kind of get a little bit of roastiness. Yeah, I and get then some roastiness and then I get like a, a like a, a simple syrup sweetness, like not a maple syrup, yeah, but like a, a just kind of okay. a simple simple syrup sweetness. But can you tell what kind of barrels, and some vanilla? Can you tell what kind of barrels no. just from the nose? I, I no, can't. I mean I guess some vanilla might be from the bourbon barrels, um, but yeah, it just kind of tastes like a little bit of roasty smokiness and, and sweetness. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Nathan. Right. Cheers. Thanks, Nathan. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. So I get smokiness as the first flavor, yeah. and then I start to get kind of a sweet barrel character, yeah. which I assume is from the brandy. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty good. Yeah. I've had a couple of Baltic porters that, I mean, it's, it's not one of my favorite styles mm. because I would assume that that's one of the things that gives it that smoky mm -hmm. flavor. Yeah. Um, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, I agree. I get that right on the front, this kind of roasty smokiness, mm -hmm. and then just the, a big sweetness and probably it brandy. Is. It's not like a maple syrup, but it's kind of a simple syrup, uh, turbinado sugar type sweetness. Could be, yeah. Um, I don't and, know what and, they're and I, that but it's yeah. good. I like it. And, and as I get into it, I've, I've had uh, a glass before this, and a little more, I'm getting a hint of raisin now, just a hint. And, huh. and I've been sipping okay. on this for a while, though. And um, a little bit of the vanilla that got on the nose is kind of coming through a little bit. Uh, but again, I, I would say the, the dominant two notes, I agree with you 100%. This kind of roasty smokiness and then this sweetness, sugary yeah. sweetness. Yeah, I don't know if I'd be able to tell that it was brandy barrel or bourbon barrel, but I mean, I definitely get something, some kind of barrel on the taste, but yeah. uh, I like it. I think it's good. This is good. Uh, I'm going to go four, two, five plus. I was going to go like four, three, three. Yeah. You know, kind of in between yeah, four, two, five, and four, between. five. Um, Tasty. Well, not completely in between because, you know, I've been. Four and a third. That's right. The three, four and a third. Somewhere from. in between. Yeah. Uh, um, that's, that's good. No, this is good. Uh, really enjoy this. Anything else? Uh, no. As always, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.